Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm in the mood to upgrade our Tinkercad house. I've got some sweet ideas, so let's get cracking. So, my friends, first things first, if you've created a lot of designs, you can search for house. When you find it, you can open it, or I prefer to duplicate so that I can always go back and work with the different versions I made over the years. So this, friends, is my most advanced version. It has a lot of cool pieces that I added after I was done. If you haven't done the house, look in the cards above. Also, the next two things I'm going to show you are different lessons that you can find in the cards above so that you can get caught up. We just created some lately that I want to add. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the walls so we can see inside our house. You can see I've got a piece of Rock Mountain. I'm going to delete that. And friends, I want you to go find your awesome shapes collection where you built a table and chairs you should have two of these if you did the lesson if not once again check the cards above when you bring in the table you'll notice it's too large you can hold down shift and shrink it so it fits where you want in your house so your whole project today friends is to bring in either table both tables and then also find the chair you made mine was made a while ago so i've got to go through and find all of them and here you can see i finally on page four have gotten to my chair so i can bring it in remember always be patient or you end up with a stack of them and you can see there as promised i was impatient and now i've got too many chairs so i'm going to delete them I'm going to take this one chair and I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it really small. Once again, you can see I had a boatload of these because I wasn't patient. Be patient, friends. Now I'm going to use fit view to zoom in and I can take my table and put chairs around it. Now notice if I use the black handle, I can make that table look more like a rectangle. I can stretch it in both directions and get it so that the chair fit just the way I want. If I do a second one, I can do control D, find its rotation handle. And remember, if you stay close to the shape, it goes right in the middle and you can arrange and make your house more and more epic. All right, friends, so I've got this in the house. You'll notice that the shadow doesn't quite fit. See how I was outside of it? If we do show, you can see now my project all fits inside. You can see the table in there. You can always hide and go back and keep adding. Notice we can real easily make this table look any way that we want. If you already had the characters, if you hold shift, you can now make them to the height where they would match. These are things you can adjust as you build this. Friends, I also want you to understand if you go over here to the shape library, there are tons of categories where you can explore cool things that you can add to make your house more awesome before you turn in your new final screenshot. We're going to take that screenshot with the snipping tool. Remember, we can type SN and it'll show snipping. If you do right click and you pin to taskbar, it'll be right down here. If it is down there, you click it once. Make sure it's on the window you want to capture. Make sure yours is way more incredible than mine. Get the perfect angle. So I'm zooming in, arranging, using all these tools to get it so it looks just the way I want. And then when you click on new, it'll turn gray and only grab the cool parts. So I'm grabbing from there to there. So I've got an awesome screenshot. Up here, you click save. We are going to always put ours in the downloads folder. Give it a name. Mine is going to be house MDH. And then hit save. It already exists on mine because I did it once before. I will just hit save and put a picture over it. And then, friends, it's time to go to Classroom and turn it in. Once you've got that new screenshot, friends, go to Classwork, find your Tinkercad house, view the assignment, and if you've already got one picture, that's fantastic. If you don't, that's fine as well. Click on File, click on Browse, and remember, we put it in Downloads. You can always hit Quick Access, Downloads, find your file, hit open once it finally appears then you just need to hit turn in and turn in
Alrighty friends, so I hope you had a ton of fun with this lesson, and if you did, please give it a like. If you have a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.